Okay, hey Capricorns, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a video for you guys and we're going to see what's going on with you guys. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if my videos are resonating with you. Let me get energy for Capricorns. What's going on with Capricorns right now? What do they need to know? Okay, we got the world card here. I feel like there's something that you're going to be celebrating because I see the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It could be like some sort of like achievement or like you you completing something. It's something that you're going to be completing, like some sort of accomplishment. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. It's some sort of accomplishment here. Some of you guys could be getting like a higher position at work as well. I see some good news coming towards you. There's an energy where, like, someone sees, like, a lot of potential in you. There's someone in your energy. They might have even told you some shit like that. Like, yo, I see a lot of potential in you. Yeah, Knight of Cups. It could be a lover that told you that. that, told you that. But I see, like, some good news coming towards you. There's also, like, a proposal here, too. It's like, someone, it's like someone being into you. Like, it could be a job proposal. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Definitely a blessing. And it's funny because then I not just mention the Ace of Pentacles. It's like some sort of opportunity here. For some of you guys, it could be like an email, like somebody wanting to like work with you. Yeah, Emperor. It's like a boss here, like reaching out to you to do something. It could be to like collaborate or like it could be a job reaching out to you. It could be anything. But it's something like um abundant here. Like it's like a new opportunity. It could be a new career for a lot of you guys, a new venture. What's going on with Capricorns? It's definitely something new here. Three of Cups. I see you guys. I feel like y'all going to be celebrating something as well. Yeah, Nine of Cups. There's a lot of, like, happy cards. Eight of Pentacles. This is, like, you guys working and building on something. What else for Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn right now? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Something new. I feel like a lot of you guys, y'all have, like, a lot of new ideas. Y'all could be talking about, like, starting something with friends as well, too. Ace of Cups. A lot of you guys, I feel like y'all dealing with somebody new. And y'all feeling this person. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, yeah. It could have started off casual with somebody. But now I feel like somebody wants to be with you. Like, somebody wants to take it there. It could have been all fun and games. But I feel like now somebody's catching feelings. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Could be a Virgo for some of you guys. And this also could be somebody that hides their feelings. This is not someone that's going to tell you immediately, like, yo, Capricorn, I want to be with you. Like, they're going to take their time. They're going to see how the connection goes. But I really feel like somebody's feeling you right now. If this is not happening now, I feel like this is just coming towards you. What's going on with Capricorns right now? Energy for Capricorns. What's going on with Capricorns? Got the Ten of Pentacles. With the Eight of Cups. I feel like there's a lot of change coming towards you. It's like once you walk away from something, that's when the big changes come. It could be a blessing coming towards you here. Mm hmm. We got the Hermit with the King of Wands. There's a um Aries Leo with Sagittarius thinking about you or Virgo. Some of you guys could have got ghosted from a fire sign or Virgo recently. Or ghosted from anybody. Will of Fortune, Sun card. Four swords. If a fire sign ghosted you, I feel like it's because they're going through a lot of shit. So this is someone that like pulls back their energy when they go through a lot of shit. Yeah, this yeah, this is someone that's going through a lot right now. Three of swords, ten of swords. It's like a lot of shit you don't know about as well. And I feel like it's like shit that has nothing to do with true or the connection that you have with this person. Especially with this moon card popping out. Someone has a lot that they deal with and they don't really say nothing. 
So if you don't know what a fire sign, well, it could be any sign, guys. Any sign. But I'm picking up heavy fire. And um Virgo and Gemini. Libra as well. And Pisces. It's like someone pulls back their energy because they go through a lot of shit. Yeah, seven of clubs. Like I said, a lot of shit. Heavy fire sign. We got an Aries here. What a sign too. What else for Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn? We got the Knight of Swords here. With the tower. I see something happening here. Like something changing like very quickly. Like I feel like something is going to be happening very quickly here. There's an energy where like um, Spirit wants you to shift your focus as well. Something is going to be forced. Like, something is going to end, but it's, like, forcefully. This is your ancestors doing this. We got the devil here. Why is the devil here? This could be a toxic energy that you're dealing with. It's giving, like, narcissists. Some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist. If you're dealing with somebody toxic and you know that they're toxic and you know you shouldn't be dealing with this person and it's, a lot, it's like a lot of tower moments, a lot of chaos. If you don't end it yourself, spirit is going to forcefully end this shit for you. Yeah, it could be with an Aries. It's like y'all trying to stand strong next to somebody. Like y'all trying to be with somebody that y'all know that's not good for y'all. I know this message resonates with somebody. I also feel like someone is never going to change their ways. Lovers, they love you, but I don't think they're going to change their ways because you're always going to end up in this Five of Cups energy and your feelings because this person is not going to change. Mm -hmm. What else for Capricorns? What's going on? And it's crazy because I got this energy before because I got this energy before with like Capricorns. It's giving like the sex is good. Knight of Wands, Lovers, Devil. It's like the sex is good, but like I know that you're toxic. Like there's nothing but like dick and headaches. That's that's what I'm getting here. And then I just see the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I was like, you being guarded. Yeah, this, this could be someone that's like entertaining other people, giving to other people. But I feel like a lot of you guys, y'all know this. Because with this Nine of Swords, it's like this is someone that keeps putting you in your head. Death card, yeah. There's an energy like this person did so, so much that is like... Is now you want some shit like whatever. Like it's whatever now. Four cups. Like it's like whatever. Mm-hmm. Someone has to go. Five of Swords, yeah. It's like a lot of conflict. A lot of drama attached to this person too. It could be other people in love with this person. There's like too much going on. I don't know if you're in a relationship with this person or this is like a sneaky link or like someone that you just been off and on with for years. I don't know what's going on. Y'all know your situation better than I do, but someone is nothing but drama. We got the King of Pentacles here. It could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. For some of you guys, I'm seeing Scorpio here too. What else for Capricorn? What's going on? We got the full card here with the six of wands. There's an energy where I feel like some of you guys, y'all probably overcame this shit already. Like, this is something that a lot of you guys already went through. Some of you guys could be currently going through this. But it's like y'all overcame some shit and y'all left certain things out in the cold. I see you guys moving forward, honestly. If you're currently dealing with this right now and, like, you just feel stuck, I see you getting out of the situation. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, I feel like they made you very guarded towards the next person you're going to be dealing with. You're going to be very guarded because the way this person was towards you. But yeah, guys, this is your reading. I hope y'all liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if my readings are resonating with you. And thank you for watching me. Bye.